First I'm going to tell you why I decided to write this story. The best way for me to do that is to tell you why I came up with the idea. There are many stories for teenagers and adults about suicide, but not as many for a younger audience, possibly because of the heavy themes, which got me thinking how the loss of a sibling, friend or family member might affect a child. In terms of theme, tone and content, I have taken inspiration from Bridge to Terabithia and Zathora as I really enjoyed both movies as a child and feel the dark themes behind them are very well presented. The logline for my short film is Troubled by the death of his older brother, a young boy uses the memories of an emotional link to a toy spaceship to overcome the anxieties of starting a new school without his brother. Character wise, our protagonist, a 10 year old boy named William, he has similar characteristics to Jacob Tremblay. William is an imaginative but is very reserved and shy towards people. At the start of the story William keeps to himself, although as the story progresses he opens up to his parents and becomes more vocal with his emotions. Then we have Mum Susan, ideally played by Emily Blunt, she's very well put together and strong. At the start of the story she's very much grab and go, wanting to move on from the sadness, whereas at the end she's more in tune with the rest of the family's feelings. We also have Dad, Mark, who has very similar features to actor Ryan Reynolds. Mark is a bit of a workaholic but is really caring towards his family and wants to overcome the death of Simon. Throughout the story we don't see much of Mark but we do understand his positive intentions for the family. Finally we have Simon, a 16 year old boy. Simon would ideally be played by Noah Snap. Simon was loved by many but was fighting a battle with himself which he lost seven months before the story takes place. This short film is set in present day in Leeds. The weather's calm and there's a cool breeze. The scene opens up with a rented white removal van reversing up the drive of a, new, a large new built house. In front of the garden, a sign marked sold is displayed in the front of the house. Cut to inside the van, piled with boxes labelled kitchen, bathroom, etc. Focus on one neatly packed box labelled Simon. The car door slams and the hatch door slides open. Cut to the front of the house where we see William playing in the garden with a toy spaceship. The family begin unpacking the van. Susan gently lifts a box labelled Simon. The box is filled with Simon's belongings. As William explores the house, he realises there are only two bedrooms. His eyes tear up as he's brought home to the fact that he's now an only child. Making his way into the living room, Susan can be seen unpacking a box named Living Room, filled with photos and ornaments. As William rummages through the boxes, he pulls out the photo frame with a picture of himself and a similar looking older boy. Susan glances over at William from the other side of the room, seeing that he is saddened. The family are really trying to move on from the loss of Simon. William looked up to Simon and is still struggling to come to terms with the fact that he won't be able to speak to his brother again. The reality kicks in that he'll be starting a new school and he'll have to make new friends. It's the first night in the new house, there are boxes everywhere and things cluttered all over William's new room. Asleep in bed, William tosses and turns and his bedside table we see the spaceship. Cut to black, mechanical no noises grow louder and a bright light gets closer. A bright flash, we're inside a spaceship. William walks around the spaceship and makes it to the control centre. Sitting on one of the chairs flying the ship, we see the back of a young boy's head. It's Simon. Thrilled, William joins him. The two talk about why Simon did what he did, giving William closure. Simon reassures William that everything will be okay, and that he doesn't need to worry, and that he just needs to be himself. The boys fly through space, laughing with each other, remembering all the happy times they shared. Simon doesn't want William to be hung up on the bad. It's 7.30am, William wakes up holding the spaceship. He gets ready for his first day at his new school. William is nervous, but remembers what his brother had told him in the dream. The film ends with William's parents driving him to the new school. Both parents proudly watch out of the car window and he walks as he walks through the school gates. Closing image of this film is of the toy spaceship on what would be Simon's chair in the back of the car.